Do you prefer small or big dogs? Both groups have their cons and pros. In this video, we will look at top 10 advantages of owning a small dog. Not so long ago I made a video about top 10 advantages of owning a big dog. Today it will be the opposite and again I would have to say that it's very hard to generalize all dog breeds into one large category like big dogs or small dogs because there will be always exceptions but I would say that all the 10 advantages I will be talking about in this video are true for most of the small dogs. Number 10. Lower costs. Let's start with the money. Dog food and treats are one of the biggest expense of owning a dog. And with small dog you will save a lot of money on these two items. You will also save money on dog accessories because you will only need smaller bed, smaller crate or smaller toys and smaller means cheaper. Number 9. Travel friendly. It's hard to transport large dogs, especially if you are using public transport. But you can fit small dog under your seat or to your dog carrier purse. Even in the plane, small dogs oftentimes can be taken with you without paying extra. Number 8. Apartment living. If you are living in a small apartment, smaller breed is best choice for you. It doesn't matter how small your apartment is, Chihuahua will always easily fit in it. Small dogs are overall better for living in apartment or in bigger city in general. Number 7. Longer life. In nature, larger animals live longer than small ones. Whales or elephants live much longer than mice. But this is not the case with dogs. Larger dogs have shorter lifespans than small dogs. If you want a dog companion for 15 plus years, you should choose a tiny breed. Number 6. Less mess. I guess no one likes when a dog is drooling. Guess what? Smaller dogs drool less than large ones. And what about poops? Do you like cleaning them up? I guess no one does. With small dog, the poops are small as well. Small dogs equals small mess. Number 5. They are not scary. I guess that all of you who are watching this video are dog lovers, but we must respect that there are people that are for some reason afraid of dogs or they just don't like them maybe, but most of the time these people are scared only of big dogs and they do not have problems with small dogs. So if you have someone in your family for example who is scared of dogs and who you are visiting very often, it might be better especially for them if you get smaller breed because they might be okay with that. Number 4. Cuddling. There are some big dog cuddlers, but it's easier to cuddle with small dogs. And a lot of small breeds were actually bred to be companions, so they were kind of bred to be the ultimate cuddlers. Majority of people also think that small breeds are cuter than the large ones, but that's very subjective. Number 3. Better for novices. Small dogs are just better for an experienced owners or people who do not have much time for training. It's because if you fail training or socialization with small dog, they are still manageable. If you fail training with Rottweiler, you have a problem. Number two, less active. This is definitely not true for all small dogs. Well, Jack Russell Terrier is a small dog and is the most hyperactive breed of all. But majority of them are not hyperactive dogs. It's much easier to exhaust their energy. Thanks to that, they are much better choice for seniors and for, well, lazy people. Number one, they are weaker. If you do not need guard or protector, you don't need your dog to be powerful. For a lot of people it's actually a benefit if their dog is weaker. It's very easy to pull your dog away from garbage or some other nasty and dangerous stuff. They are overall much more manageable thanks to the fact that they are not that strong. Tell me in comments what do you think, what is the biggest benefit of small dogs and if you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Facebook and Instagram, links are in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.